Hello, next we are going to walk through two very useful intermediate sketch tools, linear sketch pattern and circular sketch pattern. But first we are going to draw a simple sketch. So I'm going to go to the sketch command, select the front plane and then draw a circle at the origin. Now I'm ready to begin linear sketch pattern. The property manager opens and in the property manager I have direction 1 showing direction 1 along the x-axis. I also have direction 2 along the y-axis. Entities to pattern and instances to skip. Normally with the linear sketch pattern and the circular sketch pattern the very first thing you want to specify is the entities to pattern. Now I'm showing arc 1 which happens to be the circle here. So I'm good when it comes to entities to pattern. So since that is selected correctly I'm going to return to the top of the property manager. The first window in the direction 1 is its axis and that's x-axis by default. I can change that to a different line or an edge of the model. I'm going to leave the set x-axis and move down the property manager. Notice the number of instances is set to 2. I'm going to increase this to 6 and notice the preview on the screen. The 6 circles are on top of each other so I'm going to change the spacing and increase it to 30 millimeters. Inside of the Direction 1 property manager, notice we have a checkbox for dimension X spacing and display instance count. I always recommend that you check both of these, that way these two values are displayed on the screen and you can change those values on the screen and that be required to re return to this property manager. The last item under direction 1 is angle. It's currently at 0 degrees. Notice what happens if I change it to 45 degrees. I will reset it to 0. And now let's go down to direction 2. Direction 2 is along the y axis. Notice most of these items are grayed out and that's because the number of instances is set to 1. As soon as I increase this, you will see those values are available to be changed. And notice, I have my instances to 6. I will increase the spacing to 30 millimeters. And also notice, my angle is 90 degrees, just like direction 1. I recommend that you put a check mark in front of dimension Y spacing, displace instance count, and dimension angle between axes because that allows you to change the values on the screen. Now, if I fit this to the screen and we go down to the bottom of the property manager and select instances to skip, and then select inside of the window you will notice a magnetic dot appear inside of each instance. To skip an instance, you simply click the magnetic dot and the instance is skipped. At any point you want to return those instances, simply click the dot again and it reappears. Now let's go back to direction 2 and we will put at the number of instances back to 1 so we can talk about circular sketch pattern next. I'm going to go ahead and close out of linear pattern and will fit this to the screen and then go into circular sketch pattern. Just like linear sketch pattern, the very first thing you normally want to select is entities to pattern. So I'm going to select inside of the window and then go out to the screen and select each circle I want to pattern. Going back to the top of the property manager, 
my very first vendor here is asking me for a point to pattern about. And currently, this is my origin, which is correct for this example here. Right below this, I have a setting for center X and center Y. This allows you to set the pattern center along the X axis and the Y axis. Right below those two, I have 360 degrees, and this is my angle. And notice, they also have equal spacing checked. If I uncheck equal spacing, and I change this 90 degrees to 30 degrees, notice, I have 30 degrees between each instance. I'm going to return this to equal spacing, and 360 degrees. Just like the linear sketch pattern, I recommend that you show the dimensions on the screen for radius and angular spacing along with the instance count. I'm going to increase my instances to 8. And just like the linear sketch pattern, and just like the linear sketch pattern, I can also skip instances. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the circular pattern and close out of the sketch just so you can see a cleaner image. And there you go. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.